Hi there, it's Warren Hewitt again. Hope you're doing marvellously well again today. We're going to be talking about recording acoustic guitars. I have a lovely uh, Tanglewood acoustic guitar here. I have many Tanglewoods. I, I, I love them. They're, they're relatively inexpensive and they sound amazing. This particular one has got a really beautiful kind of pop um, guitar sound. It's great for... has a kind of invisibility in the track, which I love. And uh, I'm using a Lewitt mic here, which is a relatively inexpensive small diaphragm microphone, a condenser. Now I have many, many expensive mics and inexpensive mics. I like this one a lot because it does a lot of things for me. One of which is it doesn't really have like a lot of super low response. And with an acoustic guitar, one of the biggest problems you're going to find is this thing here called the sound hole. It is really boomy. That's where all the boom will come from. Now, if you have a mic that will already kind of roll off some of those super lows, it's going to make your life a lot easier. So using a small diaphragm naturally doesn't pick up some of those lows anyway. And then just pointing it away will save you a lot of time and trouble having to EQ. The least amount of work you can do to the sound post recording, the better. Now there's a couple of different ways that I record acoustic. The way that it's set up at the moment is with the small diaphragm pointing at the bottom area here of the acoustic guitar. And this is where 90% of the time I record. Uh, I angle it away from the sound hole, so it's sort of picking up this area here, and I find that in most situations it sounds great. It's a pretty even sound. It's really good for arpeggios because it's quite... It's very... You get a lot of bounce. Yeah, I love the way it sounds there. You can also go to the back of the body sometimes. I know a lot of people like to do it there. Here, to me, it kind of gets a bit of or best of all the worlds. But there's a couple of other places. And a, and a favorite of most people, and I think it's a good one, is on the 12th to 14th fret. So you're going to come up a little bit here. And you're going to aim it a few inches back in this area here, roughly between the 12th and 14th fret on the acoustic. And that gives you, try to get it sort of somewhat in the middle. Um, and that will give you a pretty even tone. Again, really good, nice pop acoustic. It's a great tone. Uh, this is probably in this position between the 12th and the 14th where I might put a large diaphragm microphone. You know, if you had anything from a Rode NT or, um, you know, a Blue microphone or any of those kind of really great inexpensive microphones, the larger diaphragms sound really good in this area here. And you could pull back, if, you know, a few more inches and sit back with a large diaphragm and get some really good pop, nice round sounding acoustics. It's a more of a foolproof method when you're working with an acoustic guitar player who maybe moves around a little bit. One tip if, you know, when, when first doing this is to put on a pair of headphones and go out and move the mic around while either you or, or whoever the acoustic guitar player is, is recording. And you can hear all the different areas of boominess. But really, this is your, this is your main foe here. This is your enemy. This area is a lot of bottom end, a lot of boominess. So wherever you go on the body or on the neck, just always just angle it just away from there a little bit so you're not picking up too much boom. And, uh, you know, there, the sky's the limit as far as proximity and, and positioning. You could, you could have a microphone. Some people put a microphone here and then one on the back of the body and then pan them left and right. You know, I've done that a couple of times in my career. A couple of times maybe I've done stereo acoustics, but the reality is a mono acoustic with one mic in the right place is, could be wonderful. And my two favorite positions, once again, are 12th to 14th fret with either a small or a large diaphragm and a small diaphragm down here, pick up the body. Um, so there you go. Any other future questions or anything regarding the acoustic guitar, please feel free to hit me up. I can share 
um, the experience I've had with recording acoustic guitars. Also, all the different microphones that I've used over the years. Um, there are many, many great microphones that you can use on this. It's one of those areas that you don't have to spend a, a lot of money to get a really good tone if you position it in the right place. Um, so best of luck with all your recording, and uh, I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much.